President Biden is pledging support for people in Cuba who are protesting decades of mistreatment under a communist regime. The uprising against an economic and COVID crisis there is felt in several communities here with deep Cuban roots. CBS 2's Jessica Layton has more. Inside a packed Las Palmas restaurant in West New York, so much of the chatter is about the hope for change in Angel Morphy's home country. I have a family in Cuba. I have my mom. I have one son. Since he arrived in the U.S. six years ago, this waiter has been working his tail off to send money to his family. In Cuba now, in this moment, you know, have internet. I can call. The Cuban government cut the internet off after protests and violent confrontations with police, blaming this mass uprising on a U.S. backed social media campaign. That country's president says their economic crisis is the result of the U.S. embargo. But Cuban Americans will tell you this is due to decades of communist rule. What do you think finally tipped the scales and really made this happen? Um, the hunger is bad. The lack of medical care is really bad. And now with COVID, they just finally feel we can't just sit here and, and now visibly see everyone around us dying. Carmen Gendabine moved from Cuba to Washington Heights with her parents when she was two years old. Now living in northern New York, she still has aunts, uncles, and cousins in Cuba and says this movement is surreal. It feels like... Uh, what Cuban Americans have been um, wanting to happen for so long, but um, couldn't imagine that it ever would. This area in Hudson County is home to thousands of Cuban Americans who've already fled the communist dictatorship, and many believe for the first time in several years they're about to see a turning point. The Cuban people decided to go outside and, and they want to be heard. Heard and not silenced or subjected to violence as generations of a nation come together to fight for freedom. In West New York, New Jersey, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.